Good afternoon my YouTube friends, it's Margaret and what we're looking at here we're looking at Cass, um, Cattleya Pastoral Innocence and we've got this new growth here and we've got this last one but it's still a little bit uh, under stress can you see the markings? and uh, I actually did a full video on this believe it or not virtually 29 minutes you see there's another bad leaf and um, of uh, its um, extraction from this container. Um, now this particular orchid came from Madeira and if, you'll, uh, if you want to just um, put in the search engine Pastoral Innocence Orchid you'll see there I've got um, two videos 2017 and December 2017 Oh, that first one is September 2017. This, as I say, came from Madeira and um, this came with scale. And in those days, um, I really didn't know much about scale. So let me just do a, um, a quick um, video. This was the container it was in. This is where that newest um, pseudobulb had attached those were the roots it had sent out um, so it was in the self-watering pot and uh, so those are just some of the the back parts of the root um, the front parts were fine um, and it was just potted up in hydrogen balls so the other day I think it was yesterday I noticed I'd got um, this dying leaf here and I just thought it was um, an ageing leaf. Then I looked today and I'd got this leaf. And if we look here, this was so, this damage was sunburn. Um, I thought that pseudobulb is also going discoloured. Um, so I knew I had to act. And when I removed it um, from the uh, pot, that was the um, the rear end of it. So what I've done, that's all for discarding now, that was the end uh, of this sympodial orchid um, and I've put it here and I've put cinnamon on that root, on that area, for the simple reason um, I, wanted to, I wanted it to seal it and um, I also wanted to check it hadn't got fusarium. So I've put a little bit of sphagnum moss. We've got one root here but that's got a crack on and that will probably abort it. And um, this will just lay on the shelf at the moment. I've got this piece of um, foam here uh, which if I turn over you'll see um, there. The back part of this orchid uh, sits nicely on that and I can put it on this shelf here and uh, so this grew in all different directions it grew uh, from the part that I've just discarded it's come through here and then it's branched over here and here and you see and then it's um, brought these two out in this direction so this thing wanders and this was an enormous branch uh, it, it, well, at least another 12 inches but I can't do that because it's quite heavy especially as this part here has all this gnarled area but at the moment I'm going to keep it um, like this let it get over the shock of um, coming out of um, that self-watering setup. See whether this new growth here will set down roots and uh, once I see that um, I can then decide whether to um, hang this or whether to uh, just leave it um, flat on the shelf. So I do apologise, it's only turned out to be, uh, see that sunburn as well, uh, a short video. Um, but better a short video and then at least, you see how it wants to tilt to one side. 
Um, better to be a short video than no video at all. So here we are. That's how it sits on the shelf. We've got this new growth here. We've got the other growth there. And uh, these are the other parts of it. Um, and of course the sun comes into this direction um, which will benefit um, this particular orchid, Pastoral Innocence. So from me to you, take care. Bye bye now.